Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce two more important bridges, namely resonance bridge and Owens bridge. So name clearly tells that a resonance component like RLC together we are using in one of the arms of this bridge. So here the three arms are pure resistive components and the fourth arm we are using it is a RLC component. Okay. So we know very well the bridge, bridge has to be balanced and uh, this purpose, the purpose of this resonance bridge is to calculate unknown, unknown inductance and capacitance. It is used to measure the unknown inductance and capacitance. So we know very well um, we have when the bridge is in balanced condition, when bridge is in balanced condition what happens we need to multiply the opposite resistors and then equate with the opposite resistors of the other arm so r3 multiplied with this arm so rb into what is the arm in the fourth arm what is the components what are the components in the fourth arm series combination of rlc so you have to write it as rd plus 1 by j omega cd plus j omega ld that is equal to and these two are opposite to each other ra and rc ra rc so our aim is to now just multiply this rb rd plus rb by j omega cd plus j omega ld rb that is equal to ra rc now equate real and imaginary parts see what happens if you equate the real parts rb rd is equal to on the right hand side we have ra rc so simply the unknown value rd equal to ra rc by rb the unknown value ra rb by ra rc by rb okay this is what the unknown resistance value rd and similarly equate the imaginary part imaginary part what happens in the imaginary part uh, what do we have rb by j omega rb by j omega cd plus j omega ld rb is equal to we don't have any imaginary part on the right hand side so just it is simply zero so rb rb goes to zero and uh, when j is going on to the other hand side that also will going to be cancelled so 1 by omega cd is equal to omega ld that's it. So omega square is equal to 1 by LD CD. So you can write it as F is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of LD CD. This is the frequency of oscillations of this resonance bridge. So by equating the imaginary part, we have got the frequency. Why? By equating the real part, we have got the unknown resistance value. Okay. And by using this same notation, F is equal to 1 by 2 pi root LDCD, we can also calculate the unknown capacitance and as well as inductance. Okay. So our next special bridge is Owens bridge. Owens bridge. So Owens bridge is also used to calculate unknown, unknown inductance. Unknown inductance. See the bridge components. It is also having four components across the bridge. First arm is having the capacitance C1, second arm is having a resistance R2 and the third arm is having a series combination of resistance and inductance. Okay, we generally call this R3 as the leakage resistance of L3 and a fourth arm is having the series combination of resistance and capacitance. This is the supply voltage Vs. Now, When bridge is in balanced condition, always we go for the bridge is, has to be in balanced condition. So when bridge is in 
balanced condition so what happens the reactance of this component multiplied by the reactance of this one and equated to the reactances of these two okay so how to write that what is the reactance of c1 1 by j omega c1 into reactance of the fourth arm total impedance r3 plus j omega l3 okay and uh, opposite multiplication of the opposite uh, arms r2 into r4 plus 1 by j omega c4 okay we can see one thing here you do not have a right to submit directly z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 blindly here you do not follow this, the equation blindly because when you are writing the equations z1 what is z1 what is z2 that z3 z4 if you follow the same patterns 1 2 3 4 like this it's c1 becomes z1 and z2 becomes uh, r2 z3 becomes this combination and uh, this composition and z4 becomes this combination if you take in this order and substitute in the basic equation z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 then that gives the wrong result because one is opposite to three but in the conventional way one is opposite to four okay one two this term we have considered as three in the previous cases but now three is here and 4 is here so 1 is opposite to 3 2 is opposite to 4 but in the conventional method what is, what we have 1 is opposite to 4 2 is opposite to 3 okay so don't simply follow the same equation z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 it may not true always okay so formula is true that means so that means the opposite impedances must be multiplied and equated okay that we have to keep in mind otherwise it will become a wrong calculation lead to a wrong calculation so now substitute this R3 by J omega C1 plus if you multiply this what happens L3 by C1 that is equal to R2 R4 plus R2 by J omega C4 okay so equate the real and imaginary parts this is the real part and this is also real part so equate real and imaginary part so what happens r2 r4 is equal to l3 by c1 what we need l3 is the unknown component so l3 is equal to r2 r4 c1 this is the formula for unknown inductance value L3 in the case of Owens bridge. Okay. So L3 equal to R2, R4 into C1. This is first part. Coming to the imaginary part. Imaginary part. This is real part. Okay. Coming to the imaginary part. What we have R3 divided by J omega C1. That is equal to R2 divided by j omega c4 okay so what we need r3 only so r3 is equal to omega j omega j omega gets cancelled j omega j omega gets cancelled so r3 is equal to r2 c1 by c4 so when you are doing this type of uh, problem you may think uh, the previous equations are maxwell hex hayes bridge shearing bridge which also comes in the similar way but there we have taken the calculation of different parameters like resistance and capacitance but here we have calculated the unknown inductance value and r3 resistance leakage resistance okay so this is the Owens bridge and uh, resonance bridge actually these two are rarely asked questions you may not get this type of question but even if you ask any type of question the general notation whatever it is there you can simply or blindly follow okay but don't follow don't follow always z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 here it is the proof 
if you simply follow z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 definitely it leads to a wrong calculation and thereby you may lose marks okay you will not get this answer okay because z1 what i am saying z1 z4 equal to z2 z3 so what you will do z1 means here z4 is here if you multiply these two and you will multiply these two z2 z3 means these two will be multiplied together so definitely it gives the wrong calculation oppose always whatever may be the value of the resistor one or two or three four whatever it is just multiply the opposite impedances and equator okay respect to of the bridge balancer condition so this is the first impedance here we have and this is the second impedance multiply these two and again this impedance multiplied by this r4 and series with the c4 okay whenever we are having this type of knowledge then only we can get the good results otherwise definitely it leads to wrong calculation part okay so these are the two special bridges owens bridge and uh, uh, resonance bridge and how to calculate their unknown parameters. Thank you.